All right, let's take a look at Amendment 12. Amendment 12, um, a lot of restrictions, uh, oversight, unethical behavior of elected officials. I I'm actually just shocked this is actually an option. I was actually shocked. Well, you know, here's the thing is that the Republican, <laughs> I guess it is kind of funny about this one. So what they did was they're going to do the lobbying ban for six years. And so if you're an elected official, when you get done with your office, that they're going to make it so you can't go and work for a lobbying firm directly for six years and go lobby on bills for six years. Right now, the bill's already at four. It'll go to six. Now, and again, this is a little weird because this does come into a function of government, but I think it's in the gray area. So if you voted against it because it shouldn't be added to the Constitution, eh, I'm with you on that. I, I could go with you on that one. I'm going to end up voting yes because I do think if you put more restrictions on politicians, it's better. But I will also say this, is that there is no Band-Aid fix to fixing corruption in government, and this is not going to fix corruption in government because instead of being called a lobbyist, they're going to be called a consultant, and they're still going to get the money. So, so they'll, just, they'll just create another company or a shell name or some other. The, there'll be something, folks. I mean, just don't get suckered into the lobbyist label. Exactly, exactly. All right. The last amendment on the uh, Florida ballot is going to be Amendment 13. Alex Nicker. Um, why should we vote no on ending dog races? I think I think you're an awful person to thinking that we should uh, not care about the humane treatment of animals. Uh, <laughs> I know. Who I know. writes this if stuff? Look at who <laughs> writes this stuff? If you uh. look at the way, I, if you look at how I how because I put my my list up today, so I'm against first responders. I'm against you know I'm against um, the police. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm against, uh, I'm, I'm in favor of offshore drilling, and now I'm going to tell you that I don't like animals either. And you like so, to gamble. If you want to go, through, you like to gamble. And I like, and I like, to, like gamble. to gamble. And, and you know, you're a hater when it comes to the budget because you'll never let us raise taxes. But more importantly, <laughs> exactly. you can't stand greyhounds, do you, Snickers? Time to come clean. <laughs> you are a greyhound hater. I look. I don't think that you should put animal rights. First off, I don't think you should put animal rights in the Constitution. I do think that we should be treating animals humanely, and I do think in some of these dog tracks where they've treated animals inhumanely, that those people should be held accountable for those things. We have those laws on the books already. We already have this stuff on the books. So it's not like you're going to make a new law and all of a sudden, I mean, they're going to stop the ability for people to greyhound, you know, for dogs and the greyhound racing. But what are they going to do with all these dogs, by the way? They're going to either ship them to another state or they're just going to kill them. So like, you're going to have a whole lot of them just get killed right off the bat. And then I, the, the one worry we have on this one is, it's written in such a way that you almost could attribute this to, like, every other animal in the state of Florida. So that means no more hunting. You know, there's other things that could happen. Now, it's not – it wasn't – they're not laying, they're not putting it out there like that. But the way the bill was written is that I really think unintended, unintended consequences could rule the day here. And we would probably be very upset with the way that, you know, I, we think the animal rights groups on this one is going to really kind of feel emboldened so that they're going to try to stop all kinds of hunting that goes on because they really want, you know, the, the people that are looking for animal rights are looking for equal animal rights. And, you know, I'm of the opinion that there's this thing called a food chain and we're on the top of it. And so we should probably, you know, not try to, you know, you know, feed our own power as being top of the food chain just because, you know, we, you know, we've seen a cartoon with Bambi on it. We feel bad. So you heard it here first. Alex Snicker supports eating greyhounds. We, we got it right here. <laughs> He's top of the food chain. No, seriously, folks, there is a difference between animal abuse and the laws that govern that and something that is so badly written that it could open the door up. And I think that a better example, I think this is in your piece, uh, horseback riding. I think horseback riding would be something that would probably be one of the first things to go. Drowning in regulations or saying, well, you got to do all these different things to prove that you're not abusing this animal or whatever. Um, but I think it's just, again, there's so many rules and regulations now. I don't think we need more. I think that this is extremely confusing and misleading. Um, it, it sounds, you know, it's going to really kind of pull the hard string of folks who don't like greyhound racing, dog racing. So this one actually might pass, but I'm not a fan. So I agree with Snicker there. So, <laughs> folks, that's how we're going to wrap up on amendments. And you want to stay tuned as we continue our talks and dive into some more politics.